as we continue in these jolts of faith with the upbeat topic of suffering, but the real topic of suffering, I'd like to share with you another realization that I've come through to in my life is that suffering makes us stronger. It's hard for us to realize, but when we suffer, it helps us grow our roots. It helps us deepen our faith. It's like if I want to go to the gym and build muscle, I have to go through the pain of tearing those muscles so that they can grow bigger. If I want to train for a marathon, I have to go through the pain of the training and the fatigue and the soreness so that I'm ready to run my marathon. Suffering does that for us spiritually. It hurts to lift weights, but it's only in tearing the muscle that the muscle can grow stronger. And it's only in suffering that our hearts and our faith can grow stronger as well. The scriptures are filled with examples of this in people like Job or St. Paul or countless of the other prophets, that it was in suffering and crying out to God that their faith grew stronger. And that gives us a choice. In the midst of our sufferings, do I choose to cry out to God, to keep asking God to help me make sense of this so that I can grow stronger? Or do I throw in the towel and turn my back on God and try to do it by myself? Obviously, throwing in the towel and turning my back on God is not the way to go. But by sticking it in, like Jeremiah did, like Isaiah did, like Job did, and crying out to God day and night to help me understand, to help me make sense of this, is how I strengthen those muscles, is how I grow stronger, to deepen my faith, to deepen my trust, and to deepen my soul and my spirituality, so that suffering can help me grow and become a better and deeper person of faith. Not a sermon, not a homily, but just a little insight I'd like to share with you of how we make sense of suffering in our lives.